Greetings, Ravens. Geo here again with another build video. This time, we will be going over the new meta build that will replace the double Zimmermans. The build plays exactly the same as the Zimmermans, but has a bigger and longer range. It's best to switch over to this one now that the Zimmermans have been nerfed in this latest patch. Despite the huge increase in speed and upward thrust, close range builds are still very meta. As you can see with this footage of me fighting a missile wheelchair player. Like before, I'll be showing an image of my build at the end of the video with the PC share ID in the video description. First, I'll explain how the combo works for this build. You want to assault boost and dodge during it. Then, try to kick the opponent. Use your explosive thrower next and follow up with your bazooka. Finish off with the ear shots for the punish. If you miss your kick, your explosive thrower and bazooka will still ACS stun the opponent. Therefore, you never have to solely rely on landing kicks. But landing a kick is just a good indicator that your combo will connect all the way. With this latest patch, close range builds are looked down upon as being no longer viable. To help me properly showcase why close range builds are viable, me and my Discord members ran some 1v1 matches against each other. We see Aces here running a light plasma missile build against a build of mine that was not assault boost focused. I'm going to assume this is what everyone thinks of when a close range build goes against a longer range build. Even with me running a 380 speed light AC, I cannot catch up to him and my assault boost is not good enough to close the distance between us. I woefully get kited to death as shown. A Seize will now go up against Lion, who is running a double Zimmerman build that is actually assault boost focused. Lion is easily able to close the distance with a proper booster, proving that Zimmerman's an assault boost shouldn't be overlooked in spite of the nerfs. But with the Assault Boost nerf, you have to use a specific booster to make this build work, which brings us to the most important parts of this build. It will be the Bjurzel booster that has the best stats for Assault Boosting, and the Santai generator for quickly recovering that energy after Assault Boosting. Yet, Zimmermans are still not as good as the Explosive Thrower and Bazooka combination in the next fight. Explosive Thrower has a very big sweeping range that can even be thrown up in the air by charging it. The Bazooka now automatically detonates when it's near a target, so it makes catching fast and far away opponents much easier. Earshots also reload faster. You can be more lenient on how much you want to fire it, instead of solely using it as an ACS punish. Explosive Thrower can still hit them during their Assault Boost dodge, and the Bazooka has way bigger range than the Zimmerman, while also doing a lot of ACS stagger. Seeing how good Lion's build did against AC's light build, I quickly swapped out my parts to be more Assault Boost focused for the following fight. I was able to catch up with AC's as easy as Lion did before, and quickly pulled off my entire damage combo. Big shout out to everyone that helped me play test this build from my Discord. Feel free to join my Discord to share builds, get advice on how to improve your own, and test them out against each other. A good fast missile player can definitely be a hard counter for close range builds such as these. However, that just means they can be killed a lot quicker with less armor. The Explosive Thrower is really good at catching fast targets. The Bazooka's long range allows you to stagger them or finish them from a distance. Next, let's discuss another meta build using Bazookas. It is the Double Bazooka build, which is extremely deadly. 
especially with tank or quad legs that allows you to fire them while moving. Not only that, our opponent is also using the Auroras as well. When fighting double bazooka players, you must quick boost constantly until their two shots have been used. Bazookas are very likely to miss you when you are right next to them. Use their reload time to quickly close ground to take advantage of this. What's more, keep in mind to be prepared to dodge after finishing your combo. Two bazookas cannot fire at the same time like Zimmerman's, but they are very quick to shoot, so don't try to tank through it. You can be instantly staggered if you get hit by two bazooka shots. I'll be making my own double bazooka build after seeing how deadly it is. Alas, quad bazookas are sadly not as viable as quad shotguns. They just fire too slow, and you can easily be killed while reloading. Lastly, we'll go over how to beat heavy builds. Heavy builds have a large amount of firepower and are slow. Mix up your quick boosts with assault boost kicks to avoid their big hits to win. I've always enjoyed how fast and frenetic Zimmerman's played, but was saddened by how overused it became. Close range builds take a lot more skill to use in this new patch. So hopefully I will be forgiven for using this explosive thrower build. Now then, let's explode some people in a 3v3 match.
I would appreciate it if you like and share this video, since adding commentary to a video is very time consuming for me. If you have any build suggestions or requests for me, share it in the comments below and subscribe for more PvP videos.